Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a word for you. God says you are the chosen one. He chose you and he didn't just choose you for anything. He chose you to be a vessel of honor. You are the chosen one. God chose you to be a vessel of honor. This word is coming from the book of Romans chapter number 9 and verse 21. He says, has the potter no right over the clay to make out of the same mass, of the same lump, one vessel of beauty and distinction and honorable use, and another of manual and dishonorable use? Doesn't the potter have the right to make out of the same lump of clay either a vessel of honor Either a flower vase, a beautiful flower vase, or a pot for manual use. Just type it, type it, type it. Say, God chose me as a vessel of honor. So it's not your fault. It just happened. He chose you for greatness. He chose you for honor. He chose you to have double honor. He chose you for impact. It's not about what you did. It's not about if you read earlier in, in that chapter, he starts talking about how he shows mercy to whoever he chooses to show mercy and he, cho he shows favor to whoever he chooses to show favor. So it's not about how much you, 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 you fight. It's not about how much you you desire it's not about how much you want it but it's god god just chose me he just chose me to be graced he just chose me to be favored he just chose me to show me mercy i didn't do anything to to earn it he just chose me he just chose me to love me the bible says in that same chapter he says he chose he loved he loved jacob and he and he hated his his, his esau he loved Jacob, but hated Esau. It's not about anything that Esau did. No, he just chose Jacob. It's not about anything that Jacob did. He chose Jacob. God says he chose you as a vessel of honor. He chose you to make you a financial giant. He chose you to make you famous and influential. He chose you to use you as a, as a servant to take the gospel to the nations. He chose you to get married to Boaz. He chose you to get married to Abigail, find favor with him and with man. He chose you to give you the wealth of the kingdom. He chose you to be in charge of that company. He chose you to give that multi-million, multi-billion idea, business idea. He chose you to be a, to, 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 to be at the top in that company. He chose you for promotion at that job site. He chose you for that job. Out of the thousands of people that applied, he chose you. Who is receiving? Who is receiving? Type, 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 type in the comment section and say, God chose me. God chose me. God chose me as a vessel of honor. Among all your brethren, God chose you. Among all your siblings, God chose you. God chose you to set you apart for greatness in that family. God chose you as the, as, as the most successful one in that family. God chose you as the one who is a pillar in that ministry. God chose you as the pillar in that company. God chose you as the one set apart for excellence in that family, in that company, in that association. God chose you as the one who deserved that position. God chose you as the one who was crowned for excellence in that organization. He chose you as the vessel of honor. Don't blame yourself when people hate you. They, are just, they just can't accept the fact that they, was, uh, they were made as vessels of dishonor. It's not your fault that you were chosen as the vessel of honor. So don't blame yourself and don't let it bother you. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything right either. He chose you. He chose you. By his own goodwill, he chose you. Don't blame yourself when people come crying and when, or when people hate you. They just can't stand the fact that he chose you. But he chose you. His hand is upon you. His love is upon you. His provision is upon you. His favor is upon you. His mercy is upon you. His grace is upon you. Why? Because he chose you as a vessel of honor.
Hallelujah. Do you believe that? If you believe that, type that in the comment section and say, God, choose me and, and, and share the video with someone that you love, someone that you want, that, 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 that you want them to walk in as to, to, to become an honor, a vessel of honor, someone that you think they don't believe God chose them to be an, a vessel of honor. When Jesus died on the cross, when he said it is finished, he said he came to die for you. He died because of you. He died because of you. If you were the only one on earth, he would still have died. If you were the only one on earth, he would still have died. He died for you. That's why you shouldn't live like you were, like, like you were created to be a vessel of dishonor. Like you are just an ordinary pot. No, you are a vessel of honor. That's why he died for you. So if you have not sinned, so if you have not declared Jesus as your, as your personal Lord and Savior, if you are not yet born again, I want to lead you to Christ right now. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for paying the price for me. Thank you for choosing me as a vessel of honor. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for taking away all my sins so that I can walk in your righteousness. I believe in your finished walk on the cross for me. Thank you so much. Come into my life and, and become my Lord and Savior. Let your spirit dwell in me. Let your spirit fill me until I overflow. Thank you for your finished work of salvation. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just made that prayer, congratulations, you are now born again. Please send me an email and tell me I just received Christ so that I will personally pray with you and follow you up to ensure that you grow in this walk that you have stepped into, in this new life that you have stepped into today. Congratulations once more. There is joy in heaven because of you. Congratulations. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.